It is my destiny to be chosen. It is their destiny to choose. Unconsciously decided to have a child, it opened the door for their new baby boy. They had fulfilled what I call a karmic condition necessary for his conception. Karma is the cumulative effect of our past actions. It is the force that determines the opportunities, lessons, and choices we all encounter in this lifetime. Grand Rising, so I have so much energy today and my routine is going to consist of um wouldn't be an everyday thing that's definitely not true i feel like one thing that i've learned throughout this journey is i am not as regimented as i wanted to be or i thought i would be i thought i would be super strict and having this routine that i didn't stray away from having discipline to do all the right things every single day and that's just not what i've done um, I have my ritual vitamins here that I take almost every day. Um, I take two of these in the morning. The good thing about these is you don't need um, food with this. Um, so you're not going to get sick or feel gross if you have them. And they smell really good. They smell like citrusy so i think that helps with like nausea and then i have here you can't see it um but this is my red raspberry and nettle tea blend mm -mm. i made a mistake it's too hot do i use my saliva I definitely just use my saliva. This is way too hot, so I'm gonna wait. Um, I have I have my bowls here. I have my bowls here. Um, I have my favorite book, which is Spirit Babies. That I'm gonna read. And I'm going to write in my journal. So do some journaling, do some reading, do some red raspberry leafing, drinking, um, took my vitamins, did my bowls, and I'm just going to relax. Today I'm going to work on visualizing my birth. As you guys can see, I have so much energy. I just woke up today feeling so happy and grateful. And I just, one thing I want to say is this body of mine is so beautiful i mean like to be able to see my baby change my body and i just i don't know i just think pregnant bodies are like the most beautiful bodies ever i'm so grateful um i just love the way that i look i love the way that i feel um yeah, and I'm not gonna apologize for saying that. I don't think I should warn people like, I don't wanna sound crazy or I don't wanna sound conceited, but no, I love my body, okay? Like pregnant bodies. And the fact that I feel um, happy and anointed um, is a blessing because I know some people don't have that feeling. So um, I wanna say it like very bluntly that this body of mine has been the most beautiful, most beautiful thing to watch grow and change, and I'm so grateful. I literally stared at myself for probably like 15 minutes as I like put on my um, my clothes and was just like, "Wow, look at God, look at God." Just women, for women to do spirits work here um, and bear life is just the most beautiful thing. Um, I feel like I'm gonna cry. That's another thing I just, you know, this Leo right here has turned into a whole cancer, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. Um, 
But before I get into, before I get into cutting the camera off and doing my own thing, um, I do want to share a few things. I definitely think that these vitamins, the Ritual vitamins, are the best vitamins that I've taken. Granted, I only tried two, but the other ones made me sick. Um, and I don't, you don't need like a hundred other supplements when you take these, um, amongst the other things that I've taken. And I think I'm going to make like a nutrition video where I talk about, um, everything that I've been doing. Um, sea moss is something that I take once again, not super consistently. Like there's two months of time where I took it every single day. And then there's some times where I missed it for two weeks or whatever. Um, but I always had something. So my nutrition consisted of green juice, which I took consistently my second trimester. Third trimester, not so much, but I'm getting there. Um, so ritual vitamins, sea moss, green juice, red raspberry tea, um, red raspberry leaf tea, as well as nettles and some other herbs that I'll share with you at a different time. Um, I've been taking that since like the end of February. Once again, once February hit and my midwife was like, okay, you're good now. I went ham with the tea like every single day and I made it potent. Like I had dark tea. Let me show you how dark this tea is just so you can see. But um, yeah, this is like dark. Ooh. Um. But this is dark, this is dark, very potent tea. February came, when I'm telling you tea is just good for my soul, when I drink it, I just feel it so intensely throughout my whole body and I just feel the herbs like penetrating my cells and just doing the most, okay? So Mother Earth, shout out to you for just making me feel good, okay? I was so happy to be able to drink tea at the end of February. But tea is also very ritualistic for me. Like, I'm not the type of person who can just like put my tea in the pot 10 minutes and I'm drinking it. Like, it's more of a ceremony for me. Like, I like to steep my tea, let it sit. Um, I pray over my tea, put my intention into my tea, and then I drink it. So, sometimes that's not always consistent because me having the time and intention to direct so much focus to my tea isn't always there um but like for example the last two weeks I haven't had as much tea as I probably should um yeah but the tea has been if anything it's kind of like if you're used to having something all the time and then in the beginning of your pregnancy you're not allowed to drink it or it's not advised for you to drink it anymore I just felt like I was missing it so I definitely appreciate it and can I drink this yet oh, it's super hot but okay it feels good I'm gonna write in my journal things that are great to write in my journal throughout this pregnancy is, um, to be honest, I haven't been writing as much as I've been vocalizing. I have um, a whole audio journal of my journey, but I also know that there's power in scripting. And I just wanna visualize my birthday because I just feel like it's going to be a celebration of the ancestors, celebration of angels, celebration of God. I feel like everyone's just going to, I just feel like it's going to be a, I just, I feel like dancing, laughing, rejoicing. It's just going to be beautiful, easy and effortless. So I'm going to um, script my birth story. Um, yes, and Spirit Babies. Spirit Babies is a great book. Um, uh, I'm going to just say there's a trigger warning on this. If you have any issues with um, birth, 
um, and birth related. Um, I'm gonna say the words now. So if you have any issues relating to birth and certain words will trigger you, you probably wanna stop watching this video. Um, but for the people who feel called to keep listening, if you have any questions or um, anger or fear when it comes to abortions, if you have any anger, fears, or confusion around miscarriages, or even around your parents, why your parents are your parents, um, why you're pregnant, why you had a baby with the person that you had a baby with, um, anything related to pregnancy, this book has been a beautiful, um, a beautiful message for me to receive. There are nine chapters in this book. I've read most of this book, and but honestly, this book has brought me so much peace, and I feel like it helped me connect with my baby while my baby's in the womb. My baby's already, um, I already knew my baby was a spirit baby. My baby was an intuitive. Um, I have a super child, I know that, um, just because of the way that he came to me. Reading this book, it affirmed a lot of my meditation and my prayers, and it just put me on the path. You know when you have questions and you don't necessarily know the answers? Someone literally handed me this book and I felt like all the questions that I had, or all of the dreams that I was having that I couldn't find on Google why or what that was connected to, were all in this book. So chapter one is a world of visions and voices. Chapter two is should I have a child? Chapter three is where do babies come from? Chapter four is why can't we get pregnant? Um, chapter five is what about abortion? Chapter six is about adoption. Um, chapter seven is calling your future child, calling to your future child. Chapter eight is conscious conception. And chapter nine is the birth shaman. Another way that I have enjoyed getting all of the information that I have from the book Spirit Babies, it is now on Audible as an audiobook, and this is something I definitely wish I would have had during my pregnancy because the reality is sometimes I just wouldn't be able to focus on reading a book. And Audible makes it easy to keep up, save your favorite quotes and clips from the book and share it with your friends, family, or other women who are pregnant. Aid in their healing, it's great to share with them as well. I love audiobooks because it allows you to get the information that you're wanting to receive when you're doing other things, whether you're taking a walk in your neighborhood working out or even in your kitchen cooking or cleaning the dishes. I am a long time supporter, advocate, and lover of Audible. And if you guys have not tried Audible out already, you guys can get your first book within the first 30 days by going to www.audible.com slash findguru, or you can text findguru to 500-500. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!